Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, so let us discuss reliability analysis. Reliability analysis. So in reliability analysis, we calculate the probability that a particular operation is successful. We calculate the probability that that operation under consideration is successful so uh, uh, to formulate uh, the further aspects of this reliability analysis so let's consider that an operation has n components let an operation consist of n components right and uh, the event that component i succeeds bwi event that a component I succeeds, let it be represented by WI, then the probability probability of uh, success of each component is probability p of w i let it be denoted by this small p right so now the components can be in series or parallel components can be in series or they can be in parallel so let's consider both the configurations first uh, components in in series so let's consider this configuration let uh, there be this component w1 in series with uh, this component w2 and w3 and so on let's have n components let this be wn right now obviously if any of these component fails the whole operation fails the operation will will be successful if each of these components w1 w2 and so on to wn each of them is successful only then the operation is successful right so the operation w uh, the overall operation w overall operation w is is uh, uh, is make up made up of all these components so w is equal to w1 intersection w2 and so on intersection wn so probability of w probability of success of w is equal to the probability of w1 intersection w2 and so on wn right so uh, and the probability of each of this operation is p right so p multiplied by p multiplied by so on till p and this is n times so it means that probability of w is p raised to the power n so this gives us the probability of success uh, uh, of uh, an operation whose components are in series and the probability of success of each component is a small p so the probability of success of the entire operation is p raised to the power n so now let's consider uh, components in parallel components in parallel so for this uh, let us uh, consider uh, this kind of configuration for example let this be uh, w1 then uh, sorry these are in uh, in parallel so this is these are not connected here these are connected like this this be 
w2 and so on let it there be at uh, this nth component w n so these are connected like this right and so these are n components right so obviously uh, the operation uh, the overall operation w uh, is successful if any of the operations w1 or w2 or wn is successful right so we can write that w is equal to w1 union w2 and so on till wn so the probability of success of w is equal to probability of w1 union w2 and so on wn so the calculation of probability uh, in this way is uh, difficult so let's consider the op that the other way around the operation fails if all these components fail right so w fails if w1 w2 and wn fail right and the failure is represented by the complement of w right so uh, w the complement of w is equal to the complement of w1 and intersection of uh, complement complement of w, w2 w, this means the w fails if w1 fails and w2 fails and so on till w n fails right the complement denotes that the event is unsuccessful the event uh, th th that th that this operation is unsuccessful that the event that the event has not occurred so uh, this gives us the failure of the entire operation right so it only happens when each of the component fails so the probability of success of each component is p so the probability of failure is 1 minus p right so it means that p w c is equal to 1 minus p multiplied by 1 minus p and so on 1 minus p it is n times so it is equal to 1 minus p raised to the power n right so this gives us the failure probability of failure of the entire operation right so the probability of success w is equal to 1 minus probability of failure right and that is equal to 1 minus this value 1 minus p raised to the power n so the probability of success of an operation when the components are in parallel is given by this formula 1 minus 1 minus p raised to the power n so if the components are in uh, series then the probability of success is given by p raised to the power n and if the components are in parallel then the probability of success is given by 1 minus 1 minus p raised to the power n 